Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with the West Coast Bears and we are breaking in the new year with the final game of the regular season. We are also the final match of the round, which means our spots in the top eight has been solidified. Currently on 30 points. You should see it right now on screen. We'll dive deeper into it come week one of finals, but yeah, we barely made it in. It's easily, I'd say, the most grindiest regular season we've ever played for any career mode series. You know, typically we can crack the four, but we weren't able to, and we've got a pretty decent squad. But yeah, the focus right now is to gain a bit of momentum heading into week one of finals. I'm using my boy, uh, Matt Galaxy's, it's like a little, what would you call it, little texture updates. Yeah, it's pretty dope, transition screens, loading screens, uh, navigating the game feels like fresh now, because he's recolored a lot of things, but if you're keen for it, they can be located in his uh, his Discord, he's made his own mods Discord, which I'll try and get a link to it as we cough up the pill here. A classic big hit. We spill the lollies. And it'll be Manly here with the first dibs. Got off the late pass. Plenty bodies on him. You hold him up. That's one of the new additions that transitions through to say oh, spread it's oh jason saab makes it look easy manly first to draw blood Hell, that's your second. still four plays to go here short side doesn't play out for them we take a ricochet and we'll get the ball in our own 40. We're going to go to work. Hell. Move it. Two. Hands away. Second. Trindle. That's great play. A little line break. Monroe will find Trindle back on the inside and we score our first points finally. Just past the second quarter of the match. We are pretty dominant with our left side attack but from time to time we pull off some bangers like this. The movement of this play looks so smooth. Uh, it's not always going to plan out, uh, pan out like that that particular play, but when it does come together, it's pretty nice. It's definitely in range. For as bad as it's been from this side, this one's manageable. We tie the game up at six points apiece. Well, you can see it here. This is another recoloring. You can see instead of orange, uh, it's got the red. There's some more like added textures you can see. Matt, if you're watching this, feel free to link your Discord. I do want to dive deeper into the modding and showcase the work of both Matt and the Rugby League Life 4 overhaul team. But yeah, back to the match at hand. It's, surprise, surprise, another grueler. This one... I, you can play expansive off, off, off that. But uh, I haven't really scored off it much. We go flat. And we take the tackle on the... The manly 40 here. Here we go, a little short ball opens things up. And we try to take it to the house. We find the offload as well. We'll take that. We we'll haven't parked on the left, we'll go for a crossfield kick. A bit shallow, we make the catch off Campbell and we'll hand over possession. Yeah, not the greatest set. As Manly immediately break the line on the first play. And they hand it right back. We'll take that. We weren't even planned for an interception. You'll know. I mean, if you watch me as much, or watch me a lot, you'll know when I play for interceptions. A little trick to it. Speaking of tips and tricks, if you're keen for tips and tricks, let me know. That's a nice short ball, and Sandon Smith will pop the fend of doom on his way to the try line for our second try of the match. We go back to our roots for that one. Nothing doing for our boy. Inside ball on route, though. And that is not how I wanted that to go down. Easy read, says Manly, as they get the interception. 
and throw up an inside ball of their own. Tom taking on the 10. It says 12 4 Sipley. Quick pass out to Net Butcher. And we hold him up, we send him back. This is new too, by the way. I love this ball movement. But we're going to flip them again. Nice expansive play. Fifth and last. It's a bomb. Our Achilles heel as they get the bat back straight into the bread basket of Tom Draboyevich as a manly look to tie it up with the kick to come. It's super unlikely, but we have seen it in the past. Some shockers, even from this angle. But DCE makes no mistake right here. How are we looking? 15 to go. The return from Munro. Trying to squeeze through. Munro might have to move him to the left. But I do like Mariner. Mariner in the centers. I was thinking of moving Munro to the centers. I've also... Oh, that looks pretty cool. Toss up the idea. I've been watching... <laughs> I've been watching highlights of players from this team. As we crack them here. Shone Mato Utia. Trying to take it to the house. He won't be able to. But he does find the offload. And it's Dean Mariner, of course. The man we we're just talking about. We'll cross for our third try of the match. Here's that offload again. Hits the manly player. And it's cleaned up by Dean. I think he might be our top try scorer. When I was talking about watching highlights, uh, the player I was watching was Blake Wilson at fullback, so that could be a potential move. I mean, I know I got these boys locked down for three seasons, our spine I'm talking about, but once recruitment comes around, we actually have the power to let players go. Alright, so full time, full time, we close the regular season out with back to back wins. We'll dive a little deeper into our performance this season, like our win loss, as I do think it's one of the worst performances we've had for a career mode more on that in the next episode as well as recruitment i was going to save recruitment for this game but i think it only makes sense we go through daily m's stats and all that jazz before we dive into week one of finals so yeah we're going to call it there as always if you did enjoy that be sure to want to show that like button for more rugby league related content or more content in general go ahead and drop the boy a cheeky sub thanks for tuning in and i'll see you, you, you.